Um, I'm reading pa Anatole Levin's Pakistan, the Hard Country, because um, I'm going to see him on Friday at the book festival, and it's just about Pakistan and um, what it's like at the moment, and I'm just interested because of the importance it has to Britain at the moment, with everything in Afghanistan, Iraq, and now Pakistan. It's just about the oil fields in Africa and uh, basically how the corruption starts at the, and why it's corrupting the, the, the African leaders and things like that. It was just the other day when I was in the, the book tent and um, I was just wandering around having a look and uh, there wasn't any specific reason why I picked it up. No, I just quite fancied it. I'm reading a bit about the justice system at the moment and he's basically saying different parts of um, Pakistan and how everything works, police and religion and everything like that. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Well, I bought this book with me and not at the festival. It's The Trial by Franz Kafka. Um, I'm nearly at the end of it. I'm just two pages away from finishing it. I've been to my fourth or something event so far, but I haven't bought a book yet anyway uh, because I've... I've uh, I've put it very firmly in my mind this year that I mustn't carry lots of books back to pile up in my house until I've read some more of what's already there. It was written um, early on in 1915, but it wasn't published till after Kafka's death. He never published it in his lifetime and he, he wanted it to be destroyed. Um, and since then, it's been sort of seen as in reflection to like Stalinist Russia with the sort of people getting lost in bureaucracy and tyrannies like that but that's not, obviously it was written before then, so it can't truly be seen like that. This is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I bought it because it's a signed copy. Uh, he's here today, this afternoon, doing a signing, but uh, sold out <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, it's a great book. It's uh, about the fact that gods don't die and they roam around if, uh, if their believers disappear, they, they stay existing, and it's a fascinating book. It's typical Kafka, really, in that it's kind of like unseemly complex and menacing and beyond human understanding and it's really um, a really rewarding read so I'd recommend it to everyone. Well I was thinking of maybe stalking him around the festival later on but I've got other things to do unfortunately. It's called uh, Rosalind and the Grail. I'm planning on going to visit the Rosalind Chapel. Uh, I'd read the Da Vinci Code and was interested in the stone carvings in the chapel. So that was, that was the reason I bought it.